All right, speaking about boxing managers, what are the potential pitfalls for boxing managers? Like, what should they keep an eye out for as far as um, managing boxers? Um, boy, that's a tough one. Uh, there's all sorts of pitfalls in, in, in the world of boxing. Uh, there's, well, you know, I think I hit on a little bit of that in the, uh, uh, moments ago with regards to confidence and trust and things of that nature. Uh, managers have to, uh, you know, the pitfalls that they the pitfalls that they actually run into is guiding a guy and taking this guy to a level. And you only have a short window now with the Muhammad Ali Act in effect now with fighters the way it is today. You only have a short window of managing a fighter. And that window is closed in, in a short period of time. It takes, you look at the world of boxing the way I look at it, it takes me, if I told you I'm going to manage this kid and he's undefeated, I mean, he's, uh, he's just getting his professional career off the ground, and the kid's got no professional fights, and, he's going, and I'm going to raise him, and I'm going to take him to the world championship. Well, it's going to be very difficult for me to do that because in that, you're only going to get three years with him. In the Muhammad Ali Act, you're only going to get three years with him. You get three years to raise this guy. Now, how many times a year am I going to fight this kid? Unless I have a national television network like an ESPN, not a Showtime or HBO because you don't raise fighters on HBO and Showtime. They're already made guys that you see on HBO and Showtime. Mm -hmm. So you've got to have a small network that's going to work with you where the fighter can be seen and heard from, okay? So, therefore, how many fights am I going to get for him on a national TV network? Where? Where am I going to get that at? How am I going to get this guy seen? So I got a big job ahead of me, publicizing this kid, letting the world know that he exists. So if I fought him and I told you I did a contract for him for five fights a year, well, guess what, in three years? How many fights is that? Fifteen. Fifteen fights. He's not ready for the world championship in fifteen fights. Mm -hmm. I need at least four years to develop this guy to get him because when the fifteen, he's right at that, in fifteen fights, he's right at that confidence level. I remember when I was fighting, I think I was at that like 13 or 14 fight where I truly believed I could fight anybody in the world, 13 fight, which I really couldn't at that time, but I believed that I could, okay? But that's that confidence that you get with the right people around you and telling you not blowing smoke up your butt, but the right people around like a guy like Eddie Fletcher, a guy like Ray Arcel, or a guy like Freddie Brown, a guy like Bobby Lewis, a guy, I mean, a top name trainer like Jenks Morton. Guys like that right there, those kind of trainers, they give you that serious confidence that you can beat anybody because you've learned that you box with other guys from around the country who are great fighters and you found you, you saw the development that you have matching your skills with these kind of a guys because these trainers did this for you. They put you in those right positions. Now, after those 13 or 14 fights, they're not just going to let you fight guys that are on the level of a Mayweather or a Pacquiao or somebody like that, you're just coming up here, you got 13 or 14 fights, you got a ways to go here. So now the contract's gone. You, can't, you, you may get a year extension on the guy, okay? Now you got 20 fights. You're just at that development stage where now you're going to start making money. And guess what? This guy did all the dirty work. This is the pitfall now. This guy's done all the hard work. He's done everything. Now some promoter comes along and says, guess what, sir? I'm going to give you a million dollars to sign this contract with me. Guess what that kid's going to do? He's going to sign that contract. He's going to sign that contract with that guy. And the guy who put in all the hard work and developed this kid is gone. That's the pitfalls of the management business. Mm, mm, mm.